So, Gov, you just walked us through a quick history. Yeah, and, and uh, my but there's case, unfinished business. There's, as you were, we were talking yes, about that. There's, yes. there's unfinished business, despite the fact that it's this is the first year that the ruling is supposed to be implemented. Could you elaborate? Yes. So, uh, in the implementation now of the Supreme Court decision, the national government under uh, President Duterte. Uh, came out with an executive order, but only recently, mm -hmm. uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. Although my case was final in 2018, mm -hmm. and the one of uh, Governor Ted Garcia, may he rest in peace, right. uh, became, there was a motion for recon, for, reconsideration. For okay. But it became final and executory right. also yeah. in 2019, okay. uh, a year after. So, but the problem is in the, Mine was supposed to be retroactive, just like the first one. Okay. But then it was not made retroactive. It became prospective, like the one of uh, Ted Garcia. Okay. Ted Garcia was made prospective okay. because it is an interpretation of an existing law. Okay. And therefore, it's a new interpretation, and therefore, the what the past should not anymore well, be. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because yours was an interpretation of the old law. No, mine is uh, implementation, not in not interpretation. Okay, implementation of the old law that was, as you said, yes, was incorrectly executed by the government. Yes, yes okay. illegally, as a matter of fact. Illegal. Okay. So, uh, so the implementation of it both were made prospective. Okay. So, 2019. In the local government code, uh, the payment should be based uh, on the base. The base was determined 2019. It should be three years before. Okay. So what they did was they used the new base, okay. the one of uh, Ted Garcia, uh, and started paying based on that base. Uh, 2022. Okay. So it started in this particular year. Okay. January. Right. But then the, the one, the one also the Mandana's uh, case was also made prospective. Okay. So that's why uh, uh, prospective. They, they they do not want to recognize, and that's all what we need, recognition. Right. Uh, we don't want payment because, you know, if you have this thing done, it's going to be uh, like 1.5 to 1.8 $1. I, I, I was going to ask that. What happened to the 60 billion that you said? That was paid. That was a, that over was, a period that was completed. of. Completed. Yeah, over a but period. But only of to the point where you had actually filed the first case, right? Yes, it about the 60 billion. Right? But from 2002 to 2018. No, this one is retroactive. Okay. And this was not being paid. From 1992. Okay, even even longer. This is more than, as I okay. said, what I found out right. before when okay. I was governor, when I was congressman. Okay. So, no congressman joined me, incidentally, <laughs> in the in the suit. So, uh, no senator either. Okay. So, that's it. So uh, now, to continue the fight. Mm -hmm. And that's the administration. The whole idea why we are fighting yeah, has to be explained. Yeah, why, is because why, why is it important? It's why? because it is important that we effectively and efficiently deliver basic services and fast. Okay. Mabilis. Right. But in in, kasi pag, if it is done by an upper authority, right. they're so far from the people. Right. And then they wouldn't know really who to give. Right. Who would be the decision? Because what are they? Social welfare. Okay. Uh, like what's happening right now. Right. Uh, they're giving assistance for education. That's right. Uh, the social welfare. Yeah. And you could see, they do not want. They did up to now. They do not want the local government to participate. So they determine who are supposed to be given right. and how they're going to be given. And yet you could help so much and with then, targeting, uh, right? Uh, and you could see it already. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. to. It, it happened also during the Ayuda. Yeah. During the. It's, that's just an example. The same when it comes to health. They had a program, if you recall before, putting up barangay health centers. That's right. Eight billion, but they couldn't implement it because they do not know where, they don't know how to handle the uh, 
you know how to do it yeah. the local permit etc the, the, the operations on yes. the ground yeah. Uh, yeah in agriculture which is very important yeah they've been doing it so you you've seen the problem of giving fertilizer to metro manila right <laughs> and yet there's no uh, yes. farming in metro manila irrigation so, and even shallow tube wells yeah. i mean and of course you have to consider we have different climates different soil yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, different water supply right so that is the wisdom right. of our of, well, of the principle of subsidiarity uh, and therefore it if we don't follow it right the expression of this is giving local autonomy right then uh we become ineffective right Ayan, magulo. yeah yeah huh? people who are who should be given assistance are not being given assistance while those who are not deserving they get it right so and so you could see why we have been fighting i can for, i can sense your frustration governor but sell us on the well i've been fighting with this since i became <laughs> governor for 25 years already <laughs> that yeah Sell us on the dream. What what is what is the um, the dream? What is, is actually benefit, yeah. to uh, attend to the needs of our people? Okay. Huh? Uh, but for us specifically, on those services, basic services, okay. which have already been devolved by law, right. decentralized, right. Huh? Uh, like I said, social welfare, agriculture, right, education. Uh, that's the reason why our president now yes, uh, took over because it's so important. Yes. Uh, even for livelihood of tourism, right. in health, right. you know, basic health. Right. Uh, you know, there will be dengue in one section, and then there will be no dengue in the other part of the country. But then the local government will just everyone, will uh, everyone, yeah. and then uh, you know what I mean is yes. That there are functions that could be even tourism. Yeah. Even transportation, mm -hmm. uh, communication. Mm -hmm. Now it's very important mm -hmm. in, in the law that we could have our own uh, uh, telecommunication network mm -hmm. uh, in our in provinces and in and, and, and cities. So why should be this be done? Okay. So that we would be able to include everybody. Right. And so that our development right. would really be bottoms up. Right. Right. Uh, uh, so we'll be able, more people will be employed. Right. So here you could see, when it comes to roads and bridges, the amount that's being spent mm -hmm. on the urban areas, yes. causing traffic, right. causing a breakdown in so delivery of basic services, right. social welfare, right. health, right. education. Right. Uh, so uh, the other, the other local governments outside are forgotten. Right. So that we, that's the reason why we have been fighting. What we have been fighting for. You are saying that uh, there are uh, things that um, have to be done to see the full implementation. Um, you were saying that there were some executive order that you uh, yes, mentioned. Yes, executive one three eight. They came okay. out. But okay. just in fairness okay. to President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, talking with him. Mm -hmm. He agrees. This has to be implemented. He was mayor. Well, he understands. Well, he understands he was, uh, yeah. it. Yeah. But then he said, "Well, I'm surrounded by summa cum laude <laughs> and uh, uh, dear, so I just have to follow them." Yeah. What about the Marcos so, government? Uh, what's the what's what's on the well, plate? Well, now the Marcos government. They've been asking my help okay. to help them solve it. Okay. So that's why I spent. W what should they do? To what should they do is just implement the local government, uh, okay. the, the Supreme Court decision. Okay. Follow the the law. Okay. It's very simple, and you know it's even big dis big advantage. All we need is to recognize it. Right. And then the amount that is retroactive. Right. We could give it. Well, I mentioned this even during the time of President Duterte. Give it over 30 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one of, of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, seven years. Okay. But this one is big, so 30 years. You know, the increase because of the both the, of both the Mandanas and Garcia, Garcia. petition. Uh, this year, the local government share increased okay. by 278 billion. Wow. Okay. If it is recognized, okay. the retroactive. Okay and distributed, it will be an increase of only around 50 billion. 
Oh, okay. So that's what, we, but what is important is it be recognized. Why? Right. Also coming from President Duterte. Being okay. A, well, you can borrow umutang kayo. Okay. Because if we borrow, okay. that's domestic borrowing. Okay. Because we have that, you have that receivable already. It would not affect our uh, uh, national, risk ratio. Yeah, okay. Huh? And then it would even help reduce inflation. How? Okay. Because our banking system is so liquid. Right. We borrowed a lot of foreign exchange right. during the pandemic. So, of course, they are awash with pesos okay. because all those foreign exchange right. will have to be, we have to print pesos against it. Wow. Okay. But then our production has been low. All right. So, of course, our prices will go up. You're not using all that cash yet? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So, and then we will be able to give more jobs. Huh? We will be able to attend more, like Batangas. Okay. You know, we borrowed. Now we are giving a, a one uh, multi purpose rescue vehicle. This ambulance at the same time for evacuation. Of course, we were hit by uh, the Al Volcano right. and typhoons, and, but just like the others. Mm -hmm. huh? Now, with this Mandanas Garcia, our disaster fund mitigation has gone up huh? by 35%. The salaries of the barangays and everyone in local government, the barangays are not receiving even salary, just allowances. Mm -hmm. So they start to increase by 30 to 35 already. Yeah. And they're very low. Uh, so, and we have more now funds to give for ayuda, for medicine, uh, the rural health units. We are constructing, because we have, our increase is 1.3 billion for this year. Yeah. So we have now scholarships, educational assistance, 300 million. Wow. Uh, and our, uh, the social welfare, 500 million. So, yeah. In addition to yeah. capital expenditure, because we borrow, and that is the importance of borrowing. All right. Because we need all these capital investments right now, so so that we could sustain it, mm -hmm. the whole growth. Right. Like in agriculture, right. huh? the farm to market road, they are determined by the, the people. By the national top. government, yeah.